Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome down to a brand new vlog right here on Theme Park Insanity, where today we are back at our home park, Flamingoland, here in North Yorkshire for our first full season visit of the year. Now, as you may know, of course, we were back here in uh, February. It was kind of the February half term off and there wasn't a massive amount kind of open. Well, the whole park now is officially back open for the year. Um, and of course, we can get on all of our favourite rides, assuming, of course, they're all running. Hopefully they are. I've just seen Sid go around, so obviously happy about that. But I've also got my GoPro. Hopefully I can get some POVs for you guys. Obviously, if I can do, I'll include them in the vlog. And yeah, really excited to be back here. I'm really happy to actually be back um, and obviously be getting on a lot of my favourite rides. So without further ado, let's get inside and see what Flamingo Lab has to offer during its full season here in 2024. Right, so before I go get my GoPro signed off, I thought I'd just show you this. Basically, last time we came, it was all completely and utterly open. They've now got these lovely planters here, which they've replaced as well. There's obviously benches around there as well. Looks really nice. Of course, it'll look even better when it's all fully flowered, but it just makes, you know, the plaza feel a bit more... Yeah, just a bit a bit more fresh and a bit more modern. Now, as I said, I've got to go and uh, get signed off in there before I can start using my GoPro on park. But really happy to be back here. I love this park. I really do. It's certainly one of my favourites here. But there is... A little bit of a niggle that I've got and we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so I've just got my GoPro signed off. If you are planning on filming here on Park, you do need to head into customer services and just get a men member of the management team to basically just have a look, make sure everything looks okay, check it. And then what they'll do is they'll sign it off and they'll give you a slip, which you then show to the ride ops uh, throughout your day here. But I do want to talk a little bit about the admission prices this year. It's a bit of a bugbear that I've got, but of course we'll get that straight out of the way now before I go in and have a great day because it's still a fantastic park. So let's have a bit of a chat around about that. So this year the prices have risen, risen quite substantially from other years. Last year it was around about £39 to get in and that is if you pre-booked online. If you didn't, you turned up here on a day, then you were looking at £54, which seemed quite a fair bit of money. Now this year if you booked more than seven days in advance, you'll get your admission for £44.50 pence which is quite a steep rise from your original price. It's around about £5 to £6 rise for this year. If you don't and you leave it less than that, you're going to be paying £49.50. Um, that's basically seven or less days before, or less than seven days, should I say. Anything after that, you pay full price, and it is £56. Now, I will, of course, uh, include a little clip sort of showing the prices that you'll be paying on the door, but it's a very steep rise. I understand they have a zoo to run. I understand they have rides to maintain. I understand they've got to pay their staff. And yes, it's an independent park. It's not part of a much bigger sort of like company, but it's a lot of money. And for families, of course, that do want to visit with their children that might be in a standard kind of position, like myself, it's going to make it quite difficult. Now, today I basically bought, I bought my tickets online, of course, uh, less than seven days, sadly, because it was a bit of a last minute thing. Thankfully, PayPal let you do a paying free thing. I wouldn't advise doing that because, of course, you are tied up to a credit agreement. But on top of that, if I wasn't doing that, you know, it would have been quite a push to try and get tickets for today. So just something to bear in mind, really. I don't really think it's very fair. I think that... You know, as, as much as I understand they've got a place to run, they've got a zoo and the animals to feed and all that sort of thing. Yes, it's, it's, it's a big job, but it's a lot of money. It really, really is. And obviously some families may find those admission charges quite high. Anyway, let's get inside the park. Let's go have a great day. Really looking forward to be back here, as I said, you know, regardless of all of that. So let's go take a look and see what they've got to offer. Okay, so through the barriers, nice and simple. No issues there whatsoever. Lovely staff. To be fair, it really is the staff that make you visit here. Um, as enjoyable as it is, you know, they always create memories as well. So big shout out to the staff, but of course we're going to start off our day the only way that really seems fitting, and that's with a ride on Sick, which of course is probably one of my top UK coasters right now. So lovely to see this ride back in action. Of course it opened up in 2022, so it's been opening now into its second year, or third year. <laughs> my maths are awful. But yeah, we're going to start off with a ride on Sick, get on that, and take it from there. No real plan today, just kind of get on my rides, enjoy it. I have unfortunately been told that Kamali is out of action today as his flip flop so won't be getting on those but of course as far as I'm aware at the moment everything else seems to be open. Well that was a surprise I've just had the pleasure of meeting Pete from your Harrogate radio so I just gave him a bit of a bit of an interview that sort of thing so if you're uh, if you're online check that out hopefully that should be online very very soon but yeah lovely to meet them it really was as you can see there though sick in the background hanging over there now got my POV sorted out I'm gonna get a POV should I say so let's go do this right okay you know what slight change of plan let's start our day on velocity instead there's literally zero queue for this at the moment so it's walk on so I'll tell you what it'd be rude not to and of course get on the ride get a POV if I can do 
I'll share it here in the vlog, and if not, it will be on the Facebook page. Let's go do this. Right, here we go on Velocity. Absolutely love this ride. Opened back in 2005, I believe, for Coma. Booster bike, let's do this. <laughs> that anticipation that you get, love it. Right, let's go. And we're off! Definitely one of the best rides here. Um, sick, obviously better. Kamali better as well, but this is still quite up there. What a way to start your day. <laughs> I felt like it had more of a kick to it than it did before. I know it's probably not possible for it to be faster, but it felt faster. It felt like it had more pace to it. God, that was good. <laughs> right, onwards to sick. This is not going round again. Let's go get a ride on that. And I'll talk to you when we get off. Right, time for a ride on sick. So good to be getting back on this thing. It really is. I absolutely love this ride. Definitely my favourite one here, without a shadow of a doubt. And a five minute wait, but of course, They've also got single rider, which works really well to my advantage being by myself. So let's jump in, jump in the single rider queue, go straight up and get on sick. Is there a better view to be walking up to than having this right in front of you? And of course, when it does come down that drop, you get a great view of it as well. But speaking of which, I think, I know, it's fussy. That's the good thing about the sick queue line, it does offer some great views of other rides as well. Here comes a copyright strike. Do do. <laughs> Love it. Right, here we go on sick. 2022 into my multi invert coaster ref beer cable lift. Let's do this. Better than Colossus. Trigger point in the comments for you there, guys. Let's do this. Hands up all the way. Woo! Certainly still the best ride on part, that. Absolutely brilliant. And really great to be back on it. The only thing that was really missing from the experience, of course, was the misters. Those were turned off today, which is a bit gutting. 
but yeah, really, really great fun. I was sat next to somebody, basically they, they were experiencing that for the first time. So the reactions were priceless. You probably got those on the POV as well, if you've seen that, but yeah, absolutely incredible. Still really fast, still uh, really smooth as well. Didn't, didn't appear to be as much of a rattle to the train as there has been last year. So that's really good to see. Obviously the engineers have uh, addressed that as well. And it's certainly one of the most intense rides here, but without a shadow of a doubt, the very best at the same time. For your safety and the safety of this, please be sure. Well, what a great start to the day so far. As you can see, there is pretty much nobody kicking about. I think Hero at the moment seems to be shut, so obviously hopefully we'll get that on that one later on. As much as I'm not really a fan of it, I do need to get in on my POV of that. So yeah, we'll hopefully get back to that later on. Going to head now towards the back end of the park. Of course, we've got Mumbo Jumbo. Sadly, Kumalia is, Kumalia, Kumali is out of action. Um, and then of course, we've got Cliffhanger there as well. Interested to see what cycle that one's on. But yeah, so nice to be back. Very, very chilled out. That doesn't look the best. That needs sorting out. Um, but yeah, lovely to be back. Lovely atmosphere. Even though there are school, a few school trips here today, um, not a massive amount of people kicking around so far, so it'd be nice if it stays that way. And great, obviously, for filming too, which is really handy. Yeah, let's go over to Mumbo Jumbo. Now, of course, as we know as well, Lost River Ride is currently shut and having a major overhaul in prepare, preparation for a brand new relaunch, as far as we're aware, next year. So of course we'll head over there later on, we'll go have a look and see what's happening with that. And of course I'll post a couple of construction pictures etc over on the page too. So if you haven't checked those out, do head on over to our Facebook page, have a look, drop a follow. And yeah, excited to see what they do do with it. Um, of course again, all we've heard so far is rumours, new boats, lower drop, new theme, new storyline, that sort of thing. Uh, a bit of an extended layout. <laughs> Cliffhanger going there in the background. Yeah, some major changes coming to Lost River for 2025. So I'll be interested to see what those are, but as I said, I will bring you a construction update um, and obviously show you what's going on. Right, we'll budge them. Tell you what, I'm good. Kamali's out of action. I was really looking forward to getting back on that, but hey, it can't be helped. Apparently, they're waiting on parts, so uh, yeah, hopefully, they uh, reopen that soon. Of course, you can see the train sat on the lift hill there, but yeah, let's make our way into Mumbo Jumbo, grab a ride on that, and hopefully, again, get a POV for you guys. Let's go. <laughs> right, here we go, Mumbo Jumbo. Formerly the uh, world's steepest roller coaster in 2009, but of course we all know that Takabisha now holds that record. But yep, let's do this. First reactions, all that. Speech, you want to come off? And obviously, if you've not ridden this before, you need to do it. Oh, that's steep. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, still got some force to it. <laughs> nice bit of hang time. Here we go. Woo! Down into the final roll. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, a bit of job, yeah. There you go, Mumbo Jumbo. Crack a little coaster. Right, nice little ride on Mumbo Jumbo there. It's still really smooth. Um, yeah, really good fun. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I've, I've talked about it before. It's just great little dish. It's, it's lovely. It's really surprising as to what they can kind of pack into such a short space considering it is so compact. Again, got it that that's not open, but can't be helped. Yeah, really good fun. And uh, big shout out to the lads that were on me, with me as well. Uh, lovely to meet you all today. I'm gonna head round now, get on Cliffhanger, get on Hero, 
<laughs> don't want to do it, but I've got to do it, Anna. <laughs> I'll do it for the content. Um, and yeah, just have a general wonder. Of course, as I said before, we'll head over to have a look at Lost River in a bit. But other than that, great day so far here at Flamingo Land. Right then, time for a ride on Cliffhanger. Absolutely love this. Definitely one of the best rides of its kind in the UK. However, sadly, it is only on the short, short cycle today and not on the drop cycle as well. Bit gutted, but what can you do? Still great to have it here. Let's go get a ride. Right, time to have a ride on Cliffhanger. Definitely the best SNS shot and drop tower in the UK. However, it's only on the shot cycle today, but still great fun. Let's do this. You get some great air time at the top as well. Hey, hey. Woo! Little look at uh, Lost, Lost River there. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. We have it, a nice little ride on the uh, cliffhanger there. Some great views from the park, and we did get a look briefly at Lost River as well. We can see a lot of work has taken place, and there seems to be a bit more of an extension in terms of actually leveling off the trough now as well on the lift hill. So we'll show you as much as that as much of that as we can do in a bit. But of course, let's go have a ride on this horrible torture device over here, shall we? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's like it's like Marmite. Some people love it, some people hate it, but I'll try and get a POV if I can. And if I can, I'll talk to you when I get off. on Hero, I did try to POV, POV that, but unfortunately it just didn't work out at all. I just couldn't kind of get the camera at the right sort of angle. I don't know how people have managed to do it in the past. I can only assume they probably used a wristband or something like that. But actually, in all fairness, I'll give it credit, it was a bit smoother than it was last year. Not quite as jolty. It's certainly better on kind of the inside seats as well. So if you're going to ride it, sit on the inside, don't sit on the outside. But yeah, it was a little bit smoother. It didn't feel quite as jolty as it normally does. And actually, it was mildly enjoyable, so uh, that's the first for Hero. Anyway, done that. I'm going to head round, have another ride on Sick, have a few more rides, and I'll talk to you very, very soon indeed. This is the most fearsome and how, uh, foul hearted of all sea bears. <laughs> oh, that was quite nice. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, there they are, right there. Yeah. But one day, Captain Grumbles disappeared, leaving the crew captainless. And they went off to try and find the treasure. Uh, good. Now that they're all gone. <laughs> you all right, you scallywags out there? Do you know who I am? I said, do you know who I am? A man with a beard. I'm Captain Grumbles, who speed pirate across the seven seas. There's nothing more than I love in this world than treasure. Well, there you go, a nice little bit of uh, entertainment from the air, from me there. Um, Pirates of Zanzibar. Got to drop something then. <laughs> yeah, great to see some entertainment. Flamingo Land do it really well. Uh, pure entertainment, unfortunately, don't do it anymore. It isn't from crew now. But still great as you've seen there. Still very interactive. Show's still going on in the background there, too. <laughs> right, let's go have another ride on Sick. Right, 
right, so I've only just noticed these, but new for the year, you've got sick pin badges for the ride logo. Very nice indeed, and you've also got a flamingo land pink flamingo pin badge there as well. Nice to see them doing pin badges. I've been saying for years they need to do this, so this is absolutely fantastic to see. Really, really good. Other than that, though, got lanyards and stuff there. Of course, you've got magnets and things too. There's not a kind of any other new merchandise as such. But the fact we've got pin badges is a real step forward in the right direction for Flamingo Land, so well done, guys. Really happy to see this. Hopefully, we'll see more of these for the other rides as well. well there we go, they've got sick pin badges. That's fantastic to see. Hopefully, we'll see them for the other rides as well, because uh, as I was saying to the people in the shop, I've been saying for ages. There it is. <laughs> that they need to do pin badges. So the fact we actually do now have pin badges is a real step forward for them. Well done, Flamingo Land. Right, I'm going to grab a quick ride on sick. I think we're going to go grab some food after that, so uh, yeah. Here we go. Right, a bit of a different perspective of sick for you, but hey, we're going to do it again. Let's go. Two rides down on sick there, absolutely fantastic. That makes three rides in total today, and believe me, I'll be doing more before I go home. Let's take a walk up now towards the coach house, go see if that place is open. Because, in my personal opinion, coach house definitely does by far the best food on park. Now, of course, it's pub food, but it's really, really nice food. So, hopefully, they're open. It was having a revamp over uh, over the February half term period, so I'm kind of hoping that's finished. If it hasn't, there's other things here available, but I'm holding out for a parmesan, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, let's take a walk up there, see if there's any rides I can hop on on the way. Let's go grab some lunch. So just in case you weren't aware, Flamingo Land also offer souvenir refill cups with free refills as well. You've got a normal Flamingo Land one there, and then of course they've got a sick one there as well. Hopefully they're still available, but you can basically, the, the more that you get, the less it actually costs you. So if you get one cup, of course, it's £17. Uh, two for 15 so basically two at 15 pound each or three at 13 pound each um, and then on the day of refills as well if you bring it back it costs you 10 pounds to reactivate the cup so a bit more costly than the likes of Alton Towers etc but you know at the same time it's nice you have this option here because on a hotter day you're certainly going to need a drink
on the blustery side. I love a good starfire flyer, but that was really quite unnerving. <laughs> we were literally were spinning, and if I've included a POV, hopefully I have, then uh, we we're spinning, but you were kind of spinning sideways, and I was literally looking right down. Yeah, that was a little bit kind of on the uh, squeaky bum side, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> really good fun though, but um, yeah, very unique experience. Right, here we go on Twistosaurus. Lovely little spinning coaster. Good little fun ride. Let's do this. for a little course to this. We try to spin him off. <laughs> Goodness me. That was fun. Yep, that'll about do it. Well, that was a fun little ride there on uh, Twistosaurus. A really good little coaster, that actually. And it's another ride that's been kind of part of a world record. It's not the ride itself, it's the person that rode it. Now the person I think was around about 105 years old and he literally rode that roller coaster. I don't know how many times, but he did it and he was the oldest person to ride a roller coaster. So really cool there. But yeah, another great little addition to the park. Heading up now to Mischief Mansion, which does look to be open. So I'll quit ride on that. And then hopefully the coach house is open because I'm really peckish right now. Let's go take a ride. Well, there's literally nobody in here whatsoever. This is walk on, lovely. Let's go have a ride.
little dark ride is that, isn't it? <laughs> Great little classic sort of ghost train ride. Lovely to see it. It is starting to look a little bit tired and a little bit warm, though. Um, I really feel like it needs some TLC, personally. There's parts of the ride, obviously, in areas as well where the lights weren't working. Some of the set pieces are obviously looking now a little bit worse for wear. There's holes in some of them. Yeah, I mean, if, if they're going to keep it, it just needs that little bit of extra attention and extra bit of love, I think, to be honest, where we just kind of bring it back up to where it was supposed to be. But regardless, it's a lovely little addition. It's still great to have it at the park. And as I said before, I would love to see them investing in maybe a bit more of an immersive kind of adulty dark ride in the long run. Yes, they're open. <laughs> so I can have my parmesan after all. Good, I'm really happy about that because it's absolutely fantastic food here. It really is. And obviously when it does turn up, I'll show you. But yeah, let's go get some food at the coach house. Well, this is lovely to see. So obviously as we knew it was closed when we came last time, but they've completely renovated it in here. And it looks absolutely stunning. So, so nice. Much more fresh, much more modern. Just a much nicer feel. Brand new flooring, brand new tables, brand new bar area. Yeah, really, really impressed with this. Really impressed. And thankfully, they still have the thing I've come for. Now, this is the menu. So as you can see there, got soup, salads, classics, specials. Typical sort of pub food. The prices, although it may seem quite a bit, actually are very reasonable for what you do get. On Sundays as well, we also have roast dinners, holiday specials, evening specials, and all that sort of stuff too, as well as desserts. So quite a decent range of food there. And as you can see from the bar area too, they've got quite a decent range of sort of drinks too. So you've got all your typicals, in terms of cars, Carling, Guinness, all that sort of thing. Of course, you've got bottles behind the bar there too. Wine, sorry guys. <laughs> but yeah, this looks so much better in here. Lots, lots, lots more fresher, really is. Anyway, let's grab some food. Right, so my lunch has just arrived. Chicken parmo. Look how nice that looks. It's always an absolute winner. I have this every time pretty much that I come. I've got my Coke here as well, so a little bit of it like some clumsy, but yeah, absolutely delicious. And chips as well. Really nice chips. And we eat this. I'll share my thoughts afterwards. Ah, that was lovely. Just had some lovely lunch. Really good quality food there as well. It always is. And the staff were lovely too. So, lovely to meet them all. But, as I said before, we're now going to take a walk down towards where Lost River Rides construction is currently ongoing. See what we can see. Take some pictures. Most importantly, give you guys a much closer look at exactly where they're at. We're just making our way down to where Lost River Ride obviously is um, and check out the construction, but from here... You can now see that the lift hill appears to be levelled off to where it's probably going to get up to. So you can see it's literally half of the height it was before, which is quite a drastic change. So that kind of confirms the lowered height. The trough itself is supposed to be getting an extension. And obviously a brand new splashdown pool as well. So let's go take a closer look at the station area and see what's going on down there. Right, okay, so as we can now see, this is where the footpath currently ends. So you can't kind of get past where the cheat hunt, uh, cheetah area is, which is just there. But lots and lots of work taking place. A lot of repainting going on there, which is nice to see. Structural work taking place up there. And before, obviously, when we did come, we could see or at least get a lot closer than we are now. But unfortunately, this is as close as we're getting. You can see the brand new fencing has been added in there to the station itself. Just zoom in there for you. Lovely new fence in there. Same as you see in Sick. And then the former kind of beverage slash photo unit where you used to get your photos and stuff like that. All that's now been taken out and all that's left is kind of the structure of it. You can also see that a brand new queue line path appears to be getting put in over there. But unfortunately at the moment, unless we can see anything from the other side, this is as close as we're gonna get and obviously as much as we're probably gonna see. Now last time we did come as well, we also saw that a lot of work was taking place inside the station with brand new walls being fitted there, which you can kind of just see in the background over there. 
as well as a kind of new building. Now, we can only speculate that obviously that's going to be part and parcel of the new sea lion area, which is said to be going in where the original splashdown pool for Lost River was. And I'd imagine that Lost River will be changing its name as well, we'd expect. I, I wouldn't imagine we'll be keeping the same name once it does reopen. I'd imagine this will be a whole brand new attraction. But yeah, lots of work going on here. It's nice to see it continuing. Obviously, they were well on with it last time we came. And they're on with it again now. At the moment, this just looks more like kind of theming and painting. Lots taking place there. And really, at the moment, that's pretty much about as much as we can really see. <laughs> you can't obviously see inside the station or anything like that. We can see lots of wood here, so we can assume that obviously they'll be using that for other structures and stuff like that. But yeah, loads of work going on here. As for an opening date, a name, anything like that, currently at the moment we have absolutely no information whatsoever. So we literally know about as much as you guys do. But we'd anticipate this will be opening next year and not this year, given just how much work's actually been put into this attraction. Also as well, I've just realized, was this tree structure or this tree surround there before? I don't remember it looking like that. I mean, it does look quite old, but is it new? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Yeah, big changes coming to the rise. A big new feature wall over there by the looks of it getting put in there. Or part and pass of the building, as we do know, the lines have been moved to where the Tigers are at the moment, next door to those guys, just while their uh, enclosure gets renovated. But yeah, certainly a lot happening here. So we're just up next to where the Flamingo Land enclosure is. And you can see all parts of the old drop here. Oh, the old cladding that used to make it up. Old supports there. I think part of the old trough there as well. Definitely looks like it. And at the moment, this is as far as you can go. Now, we can see some brand new footers there that have been put in place, potentially. I'd imagine that's to do with obviously extending the, uh, extending the drop as well. That's where the drop currently ends. Good that we can get this close to be fair, actually. And then loads of structural work taking place all around here. So yeah, at the moment, mainly just all groundwork. There's no way this is going to be finished for this year. Not a chance. But it seems like there's certainly a long way on with it. Obviously, the old drop now is completely gone. I'm definitely intrigued to see what happens with this, because, yeah, I'm definitely expecting a brand new, brand new ride experience, to be perfectly honest. As I said, though, come look for yourselves if you are at the park. This is as far as you can get. You can get to where the flamingo la flamingos are, and then you have to make your way back up there. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so there you have it. That's the latest look at all the construction taking place on Lost River. And just completely out of nowhere, Fort Park go drop the bombshell that Hyperia is going to open up on 24th of May. <laughs> That's absolute madness. I've literally I've just secured my pre book. So, yes, we'll be there for Hyperia's opening day. Hit subscribe if you haven't already because you will not want to miss that. I can absolutely guarantee you. But, yeah, really excited now. Obviously, we've got that to look forward to. We've been waiting on that for a very long time. So, it's great that Fort Park have now finally issued that uh, opening date. Yeah. 24th of May, not too long to wait. Anyway, we're going to take a walk back round now to the main park, have a few more rides before wrapping up our day here at Flamingo Land. I'll tell you something, it's not very often you see this six on a zero minute queue. Literally walk on. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Let's go have our fourth ride of the day. Right, so sadly, that didn't work out. Literally got right to the very front, got ready to. Uh, get on the next train on the front row and it broke down. <laughs> I kind of stood and waited for quite a while actually to sort of see if it got sorted out but unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. It's one of those. <laughs> so I've just seen, uh... there it is. Up. But yeah, unfortunately it has broken down so I won't be getting on that again today I don't think but I've had about three rides today so in all fairness it's been good fun. I'm gonna have a final look around the park now I think. Um, and then we're going to sort of wrap up our day. But yeah, it's been a great day here at Flamingo Land. Obviously, we've seen quite a fair bit. Uh, a massive shout out to Chris as well. It's love to meet you, Chris. Thank you very much for uh, having a chat with me. Really appreciate that. And yeah, just a great day overall. Let's go have a final look round before we wrap up our day here at Flamingo Land.
right, so before we do wrap up our day here, we just kind of have a quick look in the theme park merch shop, Zanzi Bazaar. <laughs> Shall I pronounce that one then? Uh, as we've seen already, we do have pin badges available this year. Whether or not they've got some in here or not, I don't know, but let's have a look anyway. We've got lots of key rings available. Nice looking ones there, actually. Lanyards. We've got a variety of different stuffed toys and all that sort of thing in here as well. And to be honest with you, it's, it's just more sort of general kind of kid stuff and inflatables and all that sort of thing. So, a few bits and pieces that are of course park specific. But other than that, yeah. Oh, we've got a Kumali magnet now as well. That's nice, Mumbo Jumbo Velocity. So we've actually got different different ride ones now, which is nice to see. They're all new for this year. They definitely weren't here last year. We've got more pins and things over here by the looks of it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I better grab one or two for our, uh, two for Theo as well. So I'll grab those now. As you can see there, at the moment these are the only two pins I think are out. Obviously you've got a sick logo one, you've got a flamingo one there as well. Hopefully in time we'll see more available. Nice to see them adding these kind of things to the merch lineup though. Of course, as I said there as well, you've got all the different ride ones there. Each of those are priced at 379 So of course I'm going to have to get the other rides now as well. You're literally skinting me flamingo land, but it's worth it. <laughs> pins there at 375 as well. Key rings. You've got coasters down there, you've got plenty of... Uh, Ventacular sort of uh, water bottles and things. It didn't really show up on camera, of course, but yeah, you do have those and the cups there as well, pink and blue. And then, just really, to be honest with you, it's kind of the same sort of stuff that we've seen over previous years as well. Not a massive amount of difference, really. Of course, it's, it's mainly all toys as a rule, but it, you know, it's nice that we do have them adding these kind of things like that there to their merch lineup and an absolute massively massive abundance rather should I say of stuffed animals and stuffed toys as well so if your children do collect uh, teddies you're going to be very very skint parents by the end of this <laughs> although to be fair it depends on how generous you are but yeah so there you go other than that that's pretty much a look at everything that is on offer here in the main merch store at Flamingoland Right, so there we have it. That's our day here at Flamingoland at a close. What a great day it's been. Lovely to get back on a lot of the main rides. Yes, it's sad that Kamali was down, but at the end of the day, we still had an absolutely fantastic day regardless. The staff have been amazing. It's been a lovely atmosphere. It's been really chilled out. I expected it to be a lot, lot busier than it is. So the fact it kind of has been the way it has, it's, it's just been, it's been a really nice, relaxed day. I've really enjoyed it. Um, so, you know, if you're going to head to Flamingo Land, of course, over the coming months, do let me know in the comments below. Are you excited to kind of get back here this year? Um, and also as well, do let me know your thoughts on the admission prices below. What do you kind of sort of think to the rising prices this year? Do let me know below, guys. But for now, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. And again, if you have, smash the like button and let me know. It's always really appreciated. But for now, I'm Joe. This is Theme Park Insanity, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.